I picked up something bad there. They hit very difficult, very hard, I should say. Wow, very difficult. Yes, that is how they hit. Uh, they hit you quite hard, so even my barbarian has some difficulty if they if they start ganging up on them. So you want to be careful of that. Really? Nothing? Just an exceptional shiv. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Okay, so I assume that there's going to be one ritual on each side. You want to get rid of those berserkers when you can. And you really want to get rid of the ritual because it summons those berserkers, which can do a ton of damage. Those things are dangerous if you're not paying attention and you let them get to you. I don't you know, like dance around them. They definitely have a pattern so you can run away before they hit you. They'll do it, man. They'll do it. This game has a very high difficulty spike, I would say. Um, throughout the whole game. It, 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 it's, well, it's not really a spike as much as it's a, an increase. And it just keeps on going. It keeps on getting harder and harder. And I would say that it's higher than most games. Especially when you try to compare it to other RPGs, even other action RPGs like this. Um, I would say that this game starts out very, very easy. As you can see, you know, you need like one shot thing to start the game. That's ridiculous. Right? Very few games start off that way, but Diablo loves starting that way. However, even by the end of normal difficulty, I will probably be struggling. Oh, we got another Waller. No, get over here. Yeah, I got him. You didn't. I didn't quite see it, so I doubt you did either, but that. Well, it worked. <laughs> and it usually looks pretty sweet. But yeah, it's it's got a difficulty curve to it. It's not at the beginning though. A lot of games like this, they'll have like it'll be very difficult to start until you can get equipment. No, 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 no. This game, you need to keep getting equipment. It will never get e as easy as it is to start. At least that's what I have found. Once again, I, I can't speak for the other characters, the other classes. Doesn't... Is it really just gonna be... Give me something good! Damn you! No, go around so you can destroy it. Oh, this place is gonna be huge! Damn your school! The Lyceum! Isn't Lycée French for high school? God, it's been years. It's been years. What do we have over here? Nothing. Oh! Yeah, these guys will crawl out of the windows. I'm sure you could avoid them if you wanted to. They're not fast by any means. But, you know, there's not too many that spawn, so it's pretty easy to take them out. Oh, you can see my ship way over there. That's awesome. What do we got here? Oh, when it comes to multiplayer, and I haven't gone over multiplayer that much yet. Well, co-op. You know, whenever I say multiplayer, I always think of, uh... Oh, you you wilt against my blow. Oh, they probably came out from there. When it comes to co-op in this game... Because whenever I think multiplayer, I think PvP. When it comes to co-oping, though, everything on your screen is yours. Um, if you're playing with somebody else, they will have an entirely different screen of loot. Everything that's on their screen is theirs. Everything that's on your screen is yours. Very, very nice system, I must say. Oh, shit. Oh, we got another one. A mighty gift for our master. Ah. Once again, you can avoid their big hit if you're, care if you're careful, but with all these health points, I really don't need to. My barbarian can usually hit, stand like four hits of those, no problem. So I don't avoid it, but if you want to, it's easily done. I remember they, they showed off at BlizzCon how everything on the screen was mine. Because we had that problem, right, with Diablo 2, where uh, everything would spawn and it would be a race for getting the loot, and we, we would stop trying to kill people in order to get the loot. And we'd be like, oh, what'd you pick up? And they're like, what? I didn't pick up anything. 
<laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. You, you must be seeing things. In this game, you pick up everything you get. If it's on the screen, it's yours. And if you, then you drop it after you have picked it up, then everybody can get it. It's a very nice system for sharing, I think. And it kind of balances out the, the idea that people that were in parties in Diablo 2 could have easily, you know, just sat in the back, picked up loot while everybody else did the work. Is there really nothing in here? I don't like the way that scoundrel looks at Leah. I won't let anything happen to her. Of course not. We are honorable warriors, you and I. I have turned up the game, the, the volume up all the way on the speeches, and it's still kind of quiet. There's not much I can do anymore to try to boost that up. So hopefully it's loud enough now. If not, then I apologize. There's really not much more I can do in order to fix that. Um... Is that no? He's a normal guy. Yeah. This is this is a damn big school. Well, you know, maybe not for a high school. I don't know what kind of high school this is. But once again, that's just my assumption that it's a high school. I, I could be wrong. It could be a library. It's something to do with learning. I know that. Lyceum. Seriously, dude. Uh, I'm gonna have to see what I got. Because we're going to have to give him something better than what he's got. I think he can just equip anything that's one-handed. I could be wrong. You know, of course he can't equip anything that's like barbarian only, witch doctor, or demon hunter, or anything like that only. No class-specific stuff, but he should be able to equip every generic thing that's, that's one-handed. Um, I don't think he can use size. I think that's kind of a... Is that so? Yeah, pretty much it, man. And you're not really doing anything here. God. So much. So much win right now. I love this guy. Wait. Where didn't I go? Ah, crap. I didn't go over to the other side. So I'd been everywhere. Okay, we'll just keep going. East. We still got one place to go, and unfortunately, it's going to be a long run back to the portal out of here. I forgot that we didn't go this one. What was that? Oh, yes. Uh, one handed items. The other guy. Oh, God. I forgot what the, the scoundrel equips because I never equip him. Like, I have no purpose to use him. The Templar completely outshines him. And, well, there's somebody else that completely outshines the Templar, in my mind, for my character. You know, if, you, if you got a mage, pretty sure the Templar is what you want, and you want him to tank. But, you know, for me, that's, that's not what I'm looking for. Oh, shit, we got a ton of stuff here. Right, two down. Let's do much as I can to the people around the outside so that they don't summon anymore. Ah, fearful. The Doom Scholar, the tortured soul. The followers can die. I have finally seen it. Nice. Complete the event. Very nice. I have finally seen a follower die. Pretty much they, like, kneel in battle. And then, after a set amount of time, they'll Come back at full health and start following you again. It's very anticlimactic, I must say. But it is definitely possible. I I won't be concerned about it. It's definitely not to the point where I'm going to be resurrecting or or trying to give them health at all, any kind of potions, anything like that. It's just not that important to me that you know my my followers get experience or something like that because as you can see you know I'm doing 35 and he's doing two so what are the chances that he's going to really help me out in any big fight there we go there is a reason that I do um, have a tendency to use ground stomp followed by revenge once again, that's because of something that I don't have yet, and it's due to force a habit. Is that it? That is it. 
I might as well just run out of here. I think it's faster <laughs> than going back to the way the, the portal on that. This is faster. And that's how I shouldn't have explored. Oh, nice little fountain there. And we are done. And we need to approach the barricade. That's right. First, we need to finish exploring this place. We need to finish going down here, and then we'll finish exploring up there when we get there. We just don't want to miss out on anything. The game only gives you so much experience, and I want all of it before I move on. Unless, of course, you start grinding, which is something you could do, but something I would rather not do. And it does look like I have completed the... Well, what am I talking about? I did obviously complete the Lyceum before. Otherwise, I would have gotten an achievement for beating it. So you'll know if it's new, because I'll get an achievement. Uh, but I haven't gotten an achievement for an event yet. Looking forward to that, because there are only so many events, and they are randomly generated. You don't get them every time you go through, just like you saw that we didn't get the... Was it the, the Den of the Fallen the second time I went through after I reloaded... Uh, because I got kicked out due to lag, which was still not my lag, and I know it because my TV is linked to the internet, so I can just go, oh, is the internet out? Turn around. Nope. Damn you, Battle.net servers. I did actually watch a video of Gabe Duell speaking at uh, a school of business. I did, like I said, I watched him uh, give a speech. It was about an hour long, a lot of question and answers. Uh, probably only really about like a 20 minute speech, 40 minutes question and answers, which I'm sure is pretty standard for Gabe. Uh, oh, I got hit. I only did 15 damage on It was very interesting, I must say, to listen to. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Gabe Newell is the uh, co founder and pretty much the face of Valve. Valve, on top of all the games they do, I believe Portal and Left 4 Dead are the only ones that I have done for the channel. That, um, or th I should say, I have Let's Play. Uh, that were Valve. Ow. Whatever, I got a little heal on it. Those are the only ones that I did uh, for that were Valve, but of course Valve does own Steam. So it was very interesting listening to him talk about not only the history of, uh, of Valve, what he and his partner. You know, I always forget about the partner because he's just kind of the face of, of the franchise, so to speak. Ah, uh, heal. Yeah. So he's kind. Of, it's kind of hard to remember that there is a partner with him, but he is definitely not by himself. So, he, he talked not only about the founding of the company, he also talked about the future of the company, some of their big important... Um, oh God. I usually can avoid those, no problem. It's just like setting them off so that it snaps. He talked about the, the big important changes in the company, the philosophy of the company, and a lot about game theory, which I was surprised that he would go into detail about, especially when it came to in-game economy. Here. What? Because, of course, uh, not only does he run Team Fortress 2, which I did do a video of, uh, but he also do does Dota 2. And he had to talk about drops in that game and how people began to get pride of ownership and, and mods and all that kind of stuff. Very nice. Very interesting video. Got me thinking about, you know, deep stuff. Destroy the drop so that you guys don't become more powerful. God, yes. Missile damage. Freaking still hate missiles. Not as much as Diablo 2, but I still hate missiles. I think in Diablo 2, by this point, I probably would have died by missiles. Of course, probably in Diablo 2, we'd be in Act 2 by now. Oh, that's a that's an attack by a shell. Uh, 
it got me thinking about some yeah deeper stuff when it came to video games and all that kind of stuff. Uh, which brings me back to Blizzard and the auction house. You know, with the uh, with the auction house going, a lot of people were were complaining because Blizzard takes a cut. I I remember somebody had pointed out that they take like three cuts from the auction house. They take it like when you put money in uh, to your account. They take it when you buy and sell. They take a percentage of of, of the sale, and then they take a percentage when they when you take out the money. Um, I'm not exactly sure why. It's probably because uh, God, I still love the grass. <laughs> oh, so little things. Um, I remember there were a lot of complaints about that. To be honest, as as a person from the world of business, somewhat. Ooh. The local Khazra tribes have become a serious threat. They attack caravans and are moving into areas where they haven't been seen before. We need you to take care of this problem for us. We'll pay 25 gold pieces for every Khazra head I'm carrying you bring too much. Oh, snap. I need to go back to town. So let's go back to town. Um, here we'll finally see the town portal. I think I have not done that before. Back into New Tristram. It stays there and then I can go back through it. So. I'm going to check on all this equipment that I have picked up. I'll salvage most of it. We might equip some of it. And I'll try to remember what I was talking about when we come back. Okay, I definitely have a few new items. I do have two new rings for my character. We have plus five life to each kill, plus five experience for monster kills. That is important. You do actually want to try to get as many levels as quickly as you can in this game. That is important. And plus seven strength. I do have a new armor, 37, so over double the defense, plus vitality, which is always nice, and new shoulders. Uh, yeah, melee attackers take one damage per hit, and more experience. Everything else should be the same. Templar! I give him a couple rings, plus one to two damage, which for him is like doubling his damage, and plus five life after each kill, as if he's ever going to get a kill. Outside of that, I believe that is the same as well. Uh, so, as a business person, um, I think the reason that Blizzard does charge three times when you put in money and when you take out money is because they're actually getting charged for that. I believe that is how that works, is that they would also get charged, so that's why they have to charge you. Um, oh shit! Treasure Goblin! Look, he's doing like three damage! Holy crap! No! Get, no, get the Goblin! Get the Goblin! Stop him! Come on, or you're just faster than him. Gotta wait for him to turn sometimes. Stop! No! No! Get him! Damn it! There, he opened up a portal, but he didn't get through it. If he gets through it, he's gone. Don't let him get through that. Okay. So they do get charged for that. So that that's basically what I have seen due to credit card charges, which can get ridiculous at times. So that's why I would think that they would charge you. In terms of the auction house, of course, they're just taking their cut, which is, I assume, fair. It is their game after all, so they would be getting, I think it's 15%, which is pretty high when it comes to some industries, but when it comes to auctions, that's actually very low. Auctions really seem to take... The ancients grant me straight. Take 20 to 40%, so 15% is not that high. New Hammer of the Ancients rune. I might switch just because I'm not liking it right now. Grappling hooks for the spear. And that is it. Alright, let's take a look at those skills. I do have Ancient Spear. Throw multiple spears. That is very, very nice. And... We're, yeah, we're actually going to switch. Because I don't, I don't like the slam anymore. And we're going to go back. Smaller area for additional damage. That sounds good to me. That sounds fine. So th then there becomes the, the issue of, well, why are you charging for things in game, for, you know, fake items and that kind of stuff. But the, the thing with Blizzard games has always been that there was an underground market anyway. You might have saw a, a gold spammer pretty much to start this Let's Play. That's why I was like, really, already? 
that it was going on. It, there was an underground market in uh, World of Warcraft. There was somewhat of an underground market in Diablo 2. To be honest, I'm not exactly sure why. Ooh, My loutish companions have no curiosity about the Khazra. They're only interested in the bounty on their heads. But I am convinced the Khazra can be communicated with. It is dangerous, to be sure, but it is a risk I am willing to take. And yeah, that's it for here. So there was already an underground market, like I have said. There was, and I know a lot of people don't want to admit this, there was also a black market. Find a report from Wortham. Mistress, it is my pleasure to report that I have broken the prisoners from Wortham. Words have flowed from their mouths like blood from a wound. Our summoners can retrieve the weapon at your command, and the enemy shall be number one. Interesting. Like I said, there was a black market. Both there's probably still is the black market in World of Warcraft, and they adopted the auction house pretty early on in World of Warcraft, from what I understand. The orcs hunting grounds. We're getting closer to Leo's stuff. And I see a drum over there. Try to lure him away from the drum if I can. It'll make things easier for me. There was an, uh, there's probably still is the underground market for World of Warcraft. I have known somebody. Uh, well, I never actually met him, but um, I, you know, he was a friend of a friend that actually just his job was to level uh, characters and then sell them so he would he would sell World of Warcraft characters like the entire character and everything he would make a new account and all that kind of stuff all right we need to take out uh, these totems because they're gonna summon more cause right into there will summon their brethren no war oh god that's awesome That was his job, and he made enough money, not necessarily enough to live on, but it was pretty close. It was his only job, but he got supported else. But that was, that was what he did. He played World of Warcraft and sold the characters once they were max level. It existed. 